Hi, this is Matt, and you're listening to Bluegrass Jam Along, the podcast for anyone and everyone who loves bluegrass. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. This is your Bluegrass Briefing for 29th of January 2024. Uh, Your regular 10 minute weekly check in, all the news, all the new releases, letting you know what's going on in the world of bluegrass. Um, And kick off as always with a little bit of news about what's coming up on Bluegrass Jam Along and what's going on. Uh, So last week we had the second episode of the Earl Scruggs 100th birthday tribute featuring brilliant, brilliant conversations. I really enjoyed these. Um, Jerry Douglas, Alison Brown and Tim O'Brien and if you haven't heard those go back and check those out because they were really interesting lots of insight lots of detail lots of great stuff about Earl um, I hope you will enjoy those as much as I did um, also the week before that was part one we had Tony Trishka we had Alan Mundy and we had Kristen Scott Benson so check those out too um, this week coming up I'm editing it as we speak not as we speak because I'm actually recording this but after I'd finished recording this um, we've got part three and I thought it'd be really cool to sort of look a little bit further at Earl's influence. So I'm um, talking to Trey Hensley. Trey is obviously an amazing guitar player and singer. Um, he kind of met and worked with Earl a bit when he was young. Um, Earl is a huge influence on him. So we talk a bit about Earl's guitar playing, which is great because I love Earl's guitar playing. But I also want to chat a bit about Earl's influence, not just on some of the older players, but also on some younger players. And so I talked to Carl Tuttle, who plays... Um, in Molly Tuttle's band and had a great chat with him about Earl. We also had a much longer conversation because he's got a new record coming out. So I took the chance to talk to him about both. So that's going to be coming up in February. I'm really looking forward to putting that one out. Um, And I also chatted to Willow Osborne. She started playing the banjo when she was four. Um, And it's just interesting kind of talking to her about Earl's influence on her, but also the influence she sees Earl having still on kids now as they start playing the banjo. So sort of taking that forward. Um, Another bunch of fascinating conversations and there's a couple more bits to come um i'm unashamedly carrying this earl tribute stuff on sort of through the month because there's there's a couple more people i've got an opportunity to talk to that i would really like to have a conversation with and share those with you so more on those coming up haven't recorded those yet um so yeah lots of Earl stuff still lots and lots of that um i've had a really cool week aside from all of that i saw uh sarah jeros uh play in a record store on monday last week her new record polaroid lovers is out um Wonderful gig. Amazing to see her in such a small space. And we'll talk about the record again a little bit later on in this episode. Um, Also got a chance to see Tim O'Brien in London. I haven't seen Tim play for a while and I've interviewed him a few times recently. So it's nice to say hi to Tim. Um, He gave me a little shout out from the stage, which is lovely. Uh, And I got to go and see him afterwards. He signed my CD. We had a chat. That was very, very cool indeed. Um, So yeah, lots going on. Um, And mostly Earl Scruggs related this month. But I will let you know more about what's coming up after that. Sort of in another week or two. Uh, but that is it for pod news. Let's move on to Church Street News, which is news and announcements. The key thing we've got in Church Street News is this new music coming from Andy Leftwich, a uh, track called Behind the Eight Ball. Um, it's not out yet. I think it's out later this week. Uh, but I really enjoyed his last record, American Fiddler, which came out a year or two ago. Um, if you don't know that, go and check that out. That is superb. But there's new music coming from Andy, so keep an eye out for that. Um, That's it, really, for announcements this week. There's quite a bit of new releases, so we will move on to that now. And that is The Grass Is New. And these are the bits of grass that is new this week. Um, There's new music from Appalachian Smoke, Appalachian Smoke, depending on where you come from. Um, Good at Gone. Um, Yeah, really cool new music from them. Added to the Grass is Mostly New playlist. Um, there are also a couple of albums out. The Sarah Jarosa album I talked about at the top. Now, this isn't a Bluegrass album, but I think we can all agree Sarah comes out of the Bluegrass tradition. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have a fairly wide definition of what fits in within the, the realms of this podcast. And her new album is it's, it's much more much more sort of full band sound on this one it's called Polaroid Lovers I think it's incredible I think it's a really I've had it for a week now and I've listened to it multiple times and I'm really loving it sort of a new direction um, a bit less quiet I guess Um, still sounds like Sarah the songs are still great there's a lot more co-writes on this one I believe go and check it out there's some tracks in the playlist Um, listen to it I think it's brilliant be really interesting to know what people think Uh, a bit of a bit of a new direction from Sarah Um, also a new album called No Fear from Sister Sadie and I've popped a track from that in the playlist as well. Um, yeah, 
like I've listened to it a bit. I want to sort of spend a bit more time listening to the full record, but I'm really enjoying that so far. Um, yeah, whole new album from Sister Sadie. Go and check that out. That dropped on Friday. Um, and another track I've added to the playlist is Glendale Gallop from Ethan Sherman, which I love. Um, really cool track. Uh, I don't know a lot about Ethan, but I saw this was out and went and investigated. I put it in the playlist. Really enjoyed it. Really, um, Some really cool playing. It's a really cool tune. It's a really nice mix of sort of fairly traditional tune writing with some modern twists and yeah it's just it's just great really really enjoying it that's glendale gallop by ethan sherman so yeah this week's new releases appalachian smoke um albums from sarah jeros and sister sadie and the ethan sherman track they are all as all these things are in the playlist um the playlist is called the grass is mostly new because it is full of new releases it'll build up and up over the year there's also one for last year if you want to hear some music that came out last year um and i will bung the original original occasional different word i will bung the occasional random thing out that i'm listening to as well so it won't all be new releases but it mostly will be um you'll also find in there the bale of fleck uh, rhapsody in blue that he's done um and i'm going to get him get to hear him play that on sunday when i see Baylor and the band in london which i'm very excited about but yeah that's your releases for this week do check out the playlist go and have a listen to some of that stuff um and hopefully you'll find something you enjoy in there <laughs> Next up is Scroll On Buddy, which is something I've spotted somewhere on social media. This could have fitted into um, the new section. It could have fitted into the new releases section, but it's not really a new release. It's uh, That's because it came out in 1977. Um, there's a record called Banjo Land by Tony Trishka, which came out in 1977, I think. But Rounder just reissued it as a digital um, reissue. And you can go and download it. You can stream it. It's on all the... The regular platforms. Um, Tony on it, it's got Bill Keith on it, it's got Bela Fleck on it, it's got Jerry, it's got um, Tony Rice, it's got Russ Barenberg, loads of cool players, loads of cool tracks. I've started having a listen to that and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So I've put a track from that in the playlist. Um, go and have a listen to that. Yeah, but Tony Trishka, Banjo Land album from 1977, just had a re release. Do go and check that out. <laughs> And that's it for all those bits and pieces. Just the bit left where I have a chat about what I've been listening to this week. And I've been listening to the new Sarah Jarosa album, as I mentioned before. Um, Polaroid Lovers, it's great. It's really, really good. It's a, it's sort of like a lot of Sarah's stuff. It's a pretty easy listen on first listen. Particularly this one. It's quite. It's very sort of accessible, but just has such depth. Um, just something there each time you go back to it. I love the sounds she creates, the sort of textures of her records. I'd absolutely love to interview her about this album. Um, may happen, may not, I don't know. We'll give it a go. But uh, yeah, the Sarah Jarosa record is very, very good indeed. Um, and that's it really for this week. Do, as always, we've got some new listeners. want to say hello to all of you. Thanks for being here and I hope you're enjoying the podcast so far. Uh, lots of content. There's more bits and pieces to come. I will tell you more about that over the next few weeks. Um, in the meantime, go to bluegrassjamalong.com where you can Download your chord sheets for all the tunes. Um, you can also find all the tunes. You can play along with them on the website. You can slow them down and speed them up without changing the pitch, which is very handy indeed. Um, you'll find all the interviews there, all the little episodes like the food for thoughts and the in-between bits. All of the briefings are still there. Um, you can also sign up for the mailing list. Go and sign up for the email list and I will send you something no more than once a week. I'm not going to spam you. Um, a, because I hate spam, and B, because I just can't be bothered to write that many emails. Um, but I will send you information about what's coming up, what's coming out. Make sure you don't miss an episode. Um, links to all the places you can find stuff. Uh, but that is it. That is your Bluegrass Briefing for this week. There'll be another one next week. Um, as I said, the Earl Scruggs Part 3 will be out on Wednesday, should be this week. Um, but that's it. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Happy picking. <laughs>